everyone and welcome back to my Revel channel. I was on my way from work yesterday and I learned that Real Housewives of Potomac dropped their reunion looks. I was excited. I made it back home and had a terrible headache. Don't know where the headache came from, but I took medicine. It didn't work. I had to ride that out. So I commented and let y'all know in the community tab that, hey, I'm gonna try to bring the video to you as soon as possible because the headache was so bad. So I am back. But I actually think that kind of worked in my favor because wow, shout out to Bravo. The pictures are way better than what y'all gave us from the other franchises in 2022. The women dropped their looks last night or this morning and so forth. So I was also able to get whatever they had when we're talking about videos and photos and different things like that. But about a week ago, the women were filming and we seen a seating chart, stage setting, and you know, everything seemed to be strategically leaked. We also learned that the women was giving us a blue color scheme and I got the image here from RHOA, RHOP Instagram page. They didn't just have the video, they also had a snippet and from the wall, it lets us know that yes, it is that Miami theme. So that rumor is actually true. And then bravo.com dropped the details yesterday. So yes, the women are giving us the blue aesthetic. So typically when I think of Miami, I'm thinking of bright, vibrant colors, fun night out, beautiful beaches, flamingos, and so much more. So let's go ahead and get into it. Side note, I have to point this out. If you are new to my channel, when I do a fashion review, we're talking about fashion and I may bring in people's personalities to understand who they are and why they may dress the way that they're dressing. But when we're talking about the fashion, I am no hater. I do not bring in any of the women's stunts, antics, or anything we liked or disliked throughout the season because I feel like that is not important. So let's go ahead and get into it. Do the rankings and talking about best and worst dress. I'm pretty, petty, and always sitting already. Giselle's makeup is by Carly Styles. Hairstyles by Kalito Blunt. Hopefully I pronounced the first name right. Dresses by Albina Dyla. Jewelry is by House of Emmanuel's and shoes is by Giuseppe. Giselle actually shocked me this year. I think this is one of her better looks compared to what she has given us in the past, especially when we're talking about the hair. I know she uses the same hairstylist. He's, she's good friends with him and so forth. He's had some hits or misses, but this look here is definitely a hit. Love the updo and how it fits her face. Love that we had that middle part. Like how the hair drapes in the front. Makeup looks great. They didn't do too much with the blush. The pink lipstick always works on Giselle. I think there is barely any contour and if there is, it is definitely not done heavily, so that suits her. Love the shoe. I do not own a Giuseppe shoe, but I own a shoe that is very similar to it and I love how it wraps around. Then when we're looking at the outfit, I've seen a lot of people say that she's giving Power Rangers, First Lady, different things like that. There's nothing wrong with a modest look, but it's all about how you execute it. And if y'all calling her a Power Ranger, then I expect her to be the best Power Ranger y'all have ever seen. We've seen some people do this look before. We have Kim K and Marlo Hampton. Kim K gave us the jeweled look while Marlo Hampton gave us that more subtle look, very simple, but both of those worked. So Giselle could have took the same approach, did it like that, gave us a bodysuit. I think that would have definitely worked from her as well as basically snatching the waistline in a bit. Or if she wanted to make it her own, here's what I was thinking. Remove the turtleneck, get rid of that top half, keep the gloves with the jewels on top. Either keep the bottom half of the dress or give it a bodysuit type of look but at the top of it, keep a small portion of the jewels where it's not as thick or whatever. But from collarbone to collarbone, give us a swooped in look. Robin's look right here. I'll just put it here, actually. Something swooped in like that. That would have definitely worked for Giselle and it would have been like an A plus for me. You may think you know my story, but there's always a plot twist. Makeup is by Jeff Wright. Hair is by Corey Sims. Shoes is by Aqua Zora. Ashley did not post to her social media and she did not state who the dress is by. But let's go ahead and start with the hair and makeup. Love the bob on Ashley. I just feel like the part should have been pushed up a bit compared to being more to the side because it looks like the hair is just sitting on top. When it comes to the makeup, I love the warmth, the warmthness that we see. Hopefully, did I say that right? Warmthness? Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, love how warm the makeup is. We'll go with that. Love that she has the pinkish lipstick. Hers is slightly darker than Giselle, so that definitely works for her. And I think it fits her face really well. So right, you did really good with the contouring, makeup, everything just looks great. It blends perfectly. Earrings, I like it. I just feel like instead of the pear-shaped earring, go with more of a dangling look because of the top half of the dress. Love the shoes. You can rarely go wrong with Aqua Zora until something we're gonna see a little later on. Ashley also gave us a nice look with the dress, but here's my critiques. I like how the top half fits her. The cutout looks nice, but Ashley has a inverted triangle frame. So when you get to the satin material and how everything is cut and how it flares, to me, it looks a little funny, kind of like how something would look funny on me because I'm 4'11". I have to be careful how I wear certain stuff. 
I also like that she went with a lighter approach when we're talking about the blue. So I think that looks well. The dress is very safe. It's almost as if it's nothing there though. My vocals are clean, but my reads are fulfilled. Candace makeup is by Kay Dempster. Hair is by Stephanie Harris. Dress is by Karen Sabaj. Stylist is by Brian Adrian. Jewelry is by New York Vintage. And shoes is by Saint Laurent. Candace is the only one to pose in front of the piano. It's giving everything. And it could have definitely been the perfect example of how you execute and get a 10. But here are my critiques. And I cannot be biased when it comes to this though. But first thing first, hair. It reminds me of the hairstyle she gave us for the cast photo. She just has more of like the blondish streak in the front. I like the hair. The hair looks good. Makeup looks good. She went with more of a matte look. I think the contouring looks good. It's just a little slightly harsh, just a little bit. Lipstick, she went for that two-tone look. We got the darker outline with the pinkish in the center. Matte look, not as glossed as Giselle and Ashley's. That looks good on her. So only critique when it comes to the makeup, it, the contouring can be a little bit harsh. Other than that, nothing's wrong. When I look at the shoes, love the Saint Laurent shoes. That satin-like material with the pointed toe is super cute. I like how that same material was brought back in on the strap of the heel. That's perfect. When we get to the dress though, there's a thing where you can have too much feathers and not enough feathers. But oftentimes when you're talking about the two, I would rather have way too many feathers then not enough because the dress could have devoured, literally been everything. And you can see it when she's moving and in the group photos right here, I'm gonna put them here. You can see how it looks and how it could have definitely really been something had it not had those spacings in between. Yes, you can have the spacings in the back. We've seen the tops where you have the regular back and then you have all of the feathers in the front. But that's not what this dress is giving because how it is actually brought down through the rest of the dress. It's giving a, a chicken that is kind of plucked, but you didn't finish. That's what that is giving me. And I don't like that. It should have been filled in with the spacings. So that's my critique on the dress. Let me know what you guys think. I know a lot of people are going to love it because it's Candace, but honestly, it looks like an unfinished dress. When it comes to the truth, I always arrive on time. Robin's hair is by Shirley Gordon. Makeup is by Nikki Lemon. Dress is by Albina Dyla. Jewelry is by Nicole Rose. Jewels and shoes by Aqua Zora. This is where that Aqua Zora comes back in. Robin's hair looks good. I think it gives elegance. This is the best her hair has looked in a good minute. Makeup looks good. Love the rouge on the cheek. Eyeshadow looks good. Lipstick, the pink looks good on her. I think the earrings work perfectly with the blue dress. Y'all see how her dress swoops at the top? I think that's what Giselle could have did to give her something a little different. I love that she has the jewels at the top and how it runs down the side and goes to one side of the dress versus that whole dress. It would have been too much if they would have did that, but it definitely stood out. I seen some people say that, you know, Robin's dress is simple. Robin has a simplistic style. I think this works for her. Adding those jewel pieces on top without doing too much, she actually executed. And I think she did really, really well. Like Robin actually shocked me. When I get down to the shoe, while I said Aquazora, you can never go wrong in this instance, this is where it went wrong and kind of threw the look off just a little bit. The shoes resembles a iridescent material. It reminds me of back in like the early 2000s, late 90s how those Barbie shoes and clothes would be. Or it also reminds me of those kitten heels you used to get at the hair store when your mama would go shopping and you'd be like, oh, let me get this and do da 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 Y'all remember how them little plastic kitten heels was? That's what that reminds me of. I hate that shoe. Robin should've went with something more subtle and that definitely would've worked because that material just isn't it with everything else. Just like a three wick, I burn slow and never waver. Makeup is by Tatiana Ward. Hair is by Stephen Thomas. Dress is custom made by Chastity Surreal. Jewelry is by Karen's Own. Shoes is by Good American. When I think of Good American, I think of the jean company. I didn't know they made shoes. So I'm gonna have to definitely check that out. The Grand Dame is giving, but there's some critiques as well. <laughs> there are some critiques. Love the sleek bun. Color looks really good on her but because everything is pushed up so much, I feel like she needed a couple of dangly strands a little bit in the front or something. It just looks a little funny there. Love the jewelry. Makeup looks good. I think the contouring though, because the contouring is so harsh, she needed more of a highlight. You know, you see it? Like she needed a little more of the highlight there. Earrings fit perfectly. Shoes are nice. They're not bad. I personally would have gone with a different shoe, but that's something that's minor. The top half of the dress and how everything swoops with the detail, I think it looks 
really good. And I don't know if it's just the lighting or if that's, you know, or if she has mesh on. If she has mesh on, it looks perfect. If not, maybe that's just like how the light reflects off of the, you know, shadows. While I understand why the shoulder was added, it was not needed. Bottom half of the dress looks nice. It works. Um, personally, because of how the top half is, I would have loved to see it, that same material and that detail go all the way down. I think that would have definitely worked. But if they would have did that, they would have had to change the shoes. So I think that's why they went that route. So it looks good, but those are my critiques when it comes to Karen. I'm a Nigerian queen with no time for me. Makeup is by Arika Penny. Hair is by Dallas. I don't want to mispronounce the last name. <laughs> Styling is by Chanel Welch. Dress is by Ryan Fernandez. Jewelry is by The Rich DNA and Cartier. Shoes is by Aquazora. Nails designed by Nancy. Penny and Dallas did really good with the hair and makeup. My only critique, I think because so much is going on with the flamingoed wing, a updo would have definitely worked for her. Makeup looks great. I have no critiques. I seen some people who said they did not like her lipstick. I think the lipstick looks good. She needed something vibrant that stood out. It works on her really well. Love the earrings. I love how it has the hoops. She posted it on her social media, so let me. You can see the hoops and how you have the three dangling pieces. I think that looks really good. Someone said it was a little too much, but I don't think it was too much going on. Then when I look at the ombre dress, this is perfection. This is Miami feels. Kind of like how with Married to Medicine, I felt like oh girl did really good with the Vegas feel. This is how you execute with the theme. <laughs> this is how you execute with the theme. The flamingo feather. Love how it drapes up to the top. Love how you see the different ombre tones. The blue the purple, the, it looks like it could be silver or gold and nude mixed in. I think it looks really good. Ryan Fernandez, listen, you executed with that dress. You definitely did. Like the shoes, I just think the bold shoes was not needed because the dress is so much, the shoes should have been more subtle. I may not remember everything, but you'll never forget me. Makeup is by L'Oreal Watts. Hair is by Jada Jenkins. Dress is by Brides by Nona. Jewelry is by Glam Duchess. Shoes is by Good American. Love Mia's hair. She has the middle part pushed behind the ear, very sleek. They tease the back just a bit so it gives it some volume. I know some people didn't like that, but I think that works perfectly. Love that she's the only one who went with a velvet number compared to like the silk satin type of feels, like the top of the dress. Love the details and how everything connects. She has the mesh as well and it, it matches perfectly to her skin. Love her earrings, think it looks really good. Makeup looks really good here. She's the only one who went with more of a nude lip versus pink. Love this, my only critique, the split in the middle. It should have been on the side because any wrong move is all over from there. <laughs> it's all over from there. I don't know. I really like that middle part. Jacqueline. Makeup is by Camilla Mayer. Hair is by Dietrich Williams Jr. Couture gown is by Signature Dress Georgetown. Shoes is by Stuart Witzman. And jewelry is by Swavorsky. This is Jacqueline's first reunion, but I am still going to grade her like I would grade anybody else because I'm pretty sure she has seen other housewives shows. Makeup looks good. The pink lip looks good. Hair looks good. She has a similar hairstyle to what Candace gave us. Her streak is just a little smaller. It's more like a brown streak in the front a little bit. The dress looks good. She posted on her social media so we can actually see the full thing. I think she chose a nice dress. It was just a little lackluster to compare to what we've seen the other women give us, but that's minor. Jacqueline looks good. I like the earring, but I probably would have gone with a different earring with this dress. Sharice, hair is by Janelle Seeley. Makeup is by Daria Latham. Earring is by Earring Envy. Stylist is Tiffany Berenger. Dress is by Balmain. And shoes is by Dolce & Cabana. Sharice heard our critiques throughout the whole season. So she said, y'all not gonna be talking about her. She's gonna show y'all she is the grand dame. She stepped out. Makeup is way better than what we've seen throughout the season, as well as the cast photos. This is way more polished. I think the look as a whole is better than a cast photo, honestly. When I'm looking at the hair, I like the ponytail with the jewel and piece in the back. I think that looks good. I feel like the bang was not needed. It doesn't fit Sharice. It looks a little funny to me, so I don't like that. Wow, you can't go wrong with Dolce & Gabbana. I hate those shoes. You could have found a different Dolce & Gabbana shoe that would have looked completely different with this dress. I think the Balmain dress looks really good. It fits her well. My only critique is whatever is used underneath is pushing everything up way too much. So it looks a little funny. It looks like super, super funny there. So that is all of the looks that I have for the women. And I just want to say, you know, congratulations on completing season seven. If I was to rank the looks, it would be 
Wendy, Mia, Karen, Robin, Ashley, Candace, Giselle. Candace would go right before Giselle because honestly, while her look is giving incomplete, I felt like it was slightly better than Giselle's even though her look isn't terrible. Hers, I had more of a critique compared to everybody else. Robin would go before Ashley because Robin gave us something that looks really nice. My only critique was the shoes. I felt like her look definitely looks better than Ashley's. Then when we're looking at Wendy, Mia, and then Karen, Wendy is first because that is the epitome of Miami. I like the dress. I love the extras. I think it worked. Mia would go before Karen because I felt like hers was a little better. Yes, she could have moved the centerpiece to the side, but Karen's, she still looks great. I just felt like when you're talking about the bun and I felt like the sleeve wasn't needed, that would put her in that third place spot. So yeah, it would be Wendy, Mia, Karen, Robin, Ashley, Candace, Giselle. If I was to add the friends up, it would be Jacqueline and then Sharice to fall after Giselle. Yeah, so that's my thoughts. Let me know who you felt was best dressed, worst dressed. What did you really think of Candace's dress? I know some people like it. And let me know what you thought of the other looks. And I will see you all really, really soon.